Hi, welcome to the Home Button. I am Ed Schlack. With me is Nate Lubetsky, who is, who is chastising Matt for, for having his phone. Wait, and why don't we look back at Ed? <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no, where did Matt go? Oh God, he vanished. Oh! <laughs> yeah, we bad. all wore blue it's today. So Every single one of us wore blue. Where'd Nate go? Thankfully, oh, damn, Nate found a like... second shirt. <laughs> my shirt's dark enough to be okay. Matt had an overshirt. He had an undershirt, but there's still some blue. <laughs> We're really bad at this. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's like oh, I also promise I wouldn't fantastic. shit. Fantastic. Cross-legged. Uh, so, Nate, how you doing? Doing all right. Not too shabby. <laughs> Matt, Matt Clink. Hi. Hey, yep, Sle I forgot that I'm here. Hey. Sle sleepy there, buddy? A little bit, actually. It's, it's, it's like really rainy and dreary all day long. It's yeah. the worst summer. It's true. I'm really glad I invested in that super nice air, condi this, bleh, air conditioner. Because <laughs> it's been so it's, hot. It's been, I really need it. It in like was this, like 50 today. <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be like raining in 60 tomorrow. Uh, John Luke in the booth. Yo. Are you, are you John mute today, or can you no, talk? No, I, you can hear me. Oh, excellent. John luc has returned. Oh, he's no longer <laughs> you dead. You can kind of hear me, actually, in the other ones, anyways. It turned out. It was weird. So we are playing Halo ODST, which just got released for the Master Chief Collection. <gasps> Halo 3. Okay. Halo 3 at ODST. I'll be that guy. For Halo, um, I will be Halo that guy. Halo 3. If, uh, Colin. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of like their free apology for the horrible, horrible launch of the Master Chief Collection. It's like only five bucks if you just bought the Master Chief Collection, but I think if you were an early adopter, you got it for free. Um, I, get, I guess that makes up for the inability to play the game. For like, for like four months? I'm under the, uh, for what I've been told, it's still heroic. not great. Uh, we're also playing Splatoon, but ODST first. What, tell me, this is the only Halo game I have never played except for four. What do you want to know about it? What is it? What sets this game apart from the other Halos? Okay, so this Halo is, you, you, right? You're Nathan Fillion, aren't you? No. No, you, I thought your, your, your friend is Nathan Fillion. Oh, you can play you, you as Nathan Fillion. You do play Fillion. as Nathan Fillion. You play as all the characters at one point, except for okay. the girl. Except for Dare, yeah. So this game takes place between Halo 2 and Halo 3. It's like... It's during the second half of Halo 2. Right. So do you remember in Halo 2 where you're in the city of New Mombasa? Yes. And the uh, Prophet's ship slips bases while in atmosphere and causes a huge explosion and shit. Yeah. Basically, the, the coven occupation <laughs> of Earth in New Mombasa. Okay, yeah. You play during that. Okay. You're in an ODST in New Mombasa, and you dropped into the city. Something went wrong. Of course. And your mission parameters have changed. Just and it, it's, it's six hours after you dropped. You were knocked out during your crash landing. And you need to figure out what happened. Uh, Client training. You need to figure out what happened to your team and stuff. You pooped a little. Oh, you're farting. Really farting. Wow. Just <laughs> once I want to play Perfectly a game. Perfectly timed. That was really good. I want to play a game where <laughs> oh! the health system is back. Where everything goes right. You have a mission, and you stick to it, and it goes smooth. Just like a day at the park. And no, like no, you, you're doing stuff, but yeah. you planned ahead. Ed wants the most boring version of Black Hawk Down ever. Yeah. Bla Black Hawk, still up. So, like, this is Halo... Black, Black Hawk, Hawk, mission accomplished. This Good is... Job. GG, America. This is Halo, you're playing as an ODST. You are not that strong. You are not the Master Chief or a Spartan. So you like can't that. jump as high. You don't have, like... Recharging shield, you have like stamina and a health bar. Can you still flip vehicles with a single arm? You, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. You and can't dual wield though. Can't this, carry this two all, guns. You can't carry. You can't carry two guns. I can but you carry can flip two a guns. Jeep. Come on. Yes. You can also still use the gravity hammer, which I was like, there's no way a normal human could ever use that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. That's funny. So yeah, the entire time you're playing Wait as the rookie, which is who you're playing as, it takes place at night. So they put in this uh, cool thing called the visor. Ooh. So weak. Yes. They, t they said you can't hold two guns because you're a human. But do you see Thor's hammer? You got it. <laughs> um, and you have well, a you're silenced working. pistol, which is fucking sick. I also noticed they added, like, confet confetti. 
Uh, well, I added that skull. <laughs> it's really weird. I didn't know when ODST shot people, uh, it was a birthday party. It was just a little, it was just yeah. a little surprise. It's a, it's a little, it's a little party in every bullet. So we're gonna do the classic noob combo. Is it weird? Wombo combo. How, how much it bothers me how easy it is to flip vehicles in most games. <laughs> no, I get like it. Like in, in GTA 5, they include the ability that if your car flips, in GTA it used to be like a death sentence. If your car flips, yeah, that car's gonna, gonna blow up, up get the hell out. Yeah. Now in GTA 5, you can like move the analog stick and you can just flip your car back over while you're still in the car. What? Just by shifting your weight. That's really funny. And like it really, and like other games have that too. Where like, oh, your car flipped, just you know, yeah. Hulk toss it. No, if you if your car flips, it's gone. Yeah, you messed up, kid. So you're so you're trying to figure out who you are. No, you don't have amnesia. Okay, <laughs> I just added. This that. would be the worst case of amnesia. Having no clue who you are, you wake up <laughs> you just and shot aliens an alien are attacking. And confetti came out of its head. You're like, no, no, no! I took so much weed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what weed does. Uh, so I need to figure should, out where to go now. You should work for uh, Dare. <laughs> this probably has one of my favorite uh, Halo soundtracks. Yeah, this very noir. It's like a really noir, like subtle jazz. It's really good. At a certain point, Marty uh, it best. just breaks out into full big band oh. music. It's like, -na 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 -na. <laughs> it's just like, you're fucking like jazz hands in it up down the street. Uh, <laughs> so if I remember correctly, I'm supposed to answer a phone, right, Jean-Luc? Yeah. No phone is ringing. Oh, uh, fun fact. So this game also has a Easter egg in it. Uh, it actually had an Easter egg for Destiny. When this really? Game came out. Yes. And this came out in 2009. Uh, Destiny hadn't even been announced till like 2012, wow. 11, I think, maybe something like that. Yeah, right. Um, what, what's the Easter egg? Oh, it's it's a, a picture of the Earth with the uh, the Traveler, the white orb around it. Whoa! Ooh, yeah, right. Like it is like straight up. Wow, Destiny. that's literally yeah. That's yeah. crazy, man. Uh, apparently, they took it out of this version. Oh, oh. what? Master's Collection. Yeah, right. You're a oh, cool yeah. right, video game. And I'm like, Did you guys know about the guy in his boxers in Halo 3? Did you guys see him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The guy uh, in the heart boxes? Got it. Boxers. Oh, got I've seen know. all the Easter eggs. Um, the Master Chief did you, is actually... Did you personally get to it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. The, the Master good, Chief like, collection good people. Uh, actually <laughs> has achievements for all the major Easter eggs from the really? four Halo games. That's yes. funny. So like that one is an achievement in this game. Ed, do you know about the boxers? I know about it. I've never done it. Because I don't really care about Halo. It was difficult. Yeah, I remember that being like a good... It took me and my friends like a good hour. So yeah, yeah. Like, I was like, I remember me and my friend being like an hour, just yeah. like, we're gonna do this. On Xbox Live. And then we all like posed for a picture and like <laughs> one of them posted on Facebook. We're nice. Like, ah, yeah. This is wait, no, no, wait. in high school. No, wait, 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 wait. When you mean post a picture, do you mean your characters in game pose for a picture? Yes. Or do you mean you all <laughs> stood around Next the, to the TV? TV? Oh, that's no. What, no, no I, you I thought you done. took a selfie, like you're all like around the TV. No. Matt, Easter Matt, egg. What you should have done is had all your characters pose for the picture, we and did. then you guys pose oh, for a picture and take a picture of you with your characters. That's a little too meta, I think. I, I think that would have been way better. I don't think that's meta enough. <laughs> that's not meta night enough. Uh, oh, no. Oh, you're dead. Stuff. You're dead. Oh, no, you're oh, no. oh wow, you missed. Man, the grunts are kind of the worst. Happy Children really lightens the mood. This game also introduced the one handed silence SMG, which they brought back for Halo 5. I need a second weapon. You gotta take your inhaler, you're breathing Let's really heavy there. Get that blue shot. I'm separated from my ODST squad. Contact city oh, yeah, superintendent I think it's, for It eventually assistance. just kind of tells you, like, hey, dumbass, go over here. I, I actually had to kill all the enemies first. That's what I realized. Hear the, hear the phone ringing now? Grab some health. If I remember, there's a phone over right there. This is the president. Aha. It's even outlined. You're like, this This is where they lay subtle clues that it's all in your head. <laughs> it's like in Fight Club where the phone booth says, does not have outside calls, and he's well, like, he answers it. One of the, what it is is you find like mementos of what happened earlier to your squad mates, and then it cuts to uh, gameplay. Gameplay well, of cool. that. Like six that hours ago. Like, yeah, six hours ago this happened. But then it, it's like the rookie is able to piece all this together to figure out where everyone is. And what I'm wondering is, like, how does... Like, he finds, like, a bent sniper rifle. He's like, I found a bent sniper rifle. Oh, that means they were on top of the tower, and one of them got shot. And, like, how does... How do you know this? Again, it's all in your head. I, well, well, my theory is that he is, um, like, a psychic. 
Because he's mute. He can't talk. I'm, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be the buzzkill and and say that I think Virgil is directing him, or the superintendent is directing him uh, around. No, I'm gonna uh, say the fact that he's mute is just made up for the fact that he has sweet psychic yeah, powers that let. It's like in he just touches the object and lets it relive say? that thing's memories. Now is he no, actually other, mute or is he just a silent me. protagonist? He's a silent. <laughs> okay, glass this. Well, gl- glassing is a term. Oh, when they like fucking like. Yeah, when they glass, yeah. they literally glass a planet. Yeah. yeah, they shoot it with super hot plasma. I had a friend who was very fond of that saying. Oh, I didn't sneak up I like on the like, concept of that in Halo. He liked the concept of that in the real world. Uh, Why? Because he was a morbid person. We, we had we had Wait, this discussion like, earlier. Was uh, I was gonna say is he just super racist? Was like you know you know how to solve the Middle East? We glass it. <laughs> Some Jesus. Would say. <laughs> Some would say. If we use a fictional technique developed by fictional aliens. Hey, if we do the thing that the Halo's bad real. guys do in Halo, we'll be the we'll be the good guys. What if we do that? Science points yes. Yeah. What if we use mustard gas? <laughs> white so- uh was it white punching things uh, in the face. So- oh, 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 oh. So- hey, hey, that scene in um, uh, uh, Spec Ops The Line where all those people get horribly killed by uh, uh, sulfuric acid or whatever it is. Phosphor- well, phosphorus. Yeah, phosphorus. Phosphorus. Hot phosphorus. Yeah, hot phosphorus. What if we use that? <laughs> hey, hey, what if that look- scene wasn't horrifying enough? Hey, John, you know what game was great? Uh, Spec Ops The Line. Yes. Yeah, that was, was a great... Oh, well, my God. Okay, not a, not a great game. Oh, no. Great, great story. I think I think the... It's an adequately made game that mm, has a great it's, story. I would say Me- the game- Mediocre third-person I think the gameplay was serviceable. I think, I think the tone and the setting m- easily makes up for it. I like all the dialogue. I like the... I loved how, as you went on... Um, because everyone's everything's unraveling. Like it actually changes the animations and the oh, yeah. inner dial. Like you go from just like when you do an assassination attempt, it's like very clean, very professional, and then by the end you're just like beating people to death, like with your bare hands yeah. and you're screaming and you're like Jesus Christ. Even your squad commands are different. In the beginning of the game, you're like take take that guy out, and then like near the end of the game, if you do the same command, you're like just kill that guy. Oh, and like reloading, like, it, you're just like you're just jamming. Yeah. It, and you're like fuck it, come on, gotta. Oh, it was so good. So yeah, you're finding these mementos. See, it's a helmet. Oh, sweet, a recon helmet. I've been looking for that. <laughs> you can has recon. I think I got all the armor and stuff in Halo. I got the recon. I did. I did all the uh, special achievements for that. Me too. Yeah, I think I unlocked all. Like, I think everybody did at a certain point. Like, everyone just. No, eventually they the just armor. unlocked it. I think. For oh, me. really? Yeah. Eventually they did. Oh, wow. I got it before they did that, though. Yeah, that which was, made me feel lame. Special. Yeah. Why would they do that? Yeah, right. It was like real late. Like by the time they unlocked it, like no one was playing Halo anymore. Because oh, okay. I think like Reach was just coming out, or yeah. it already oh, came right. out. It was pretty late when they unlocked it. I remember everyone thought Hayabusa would be really cool, but then it was super easy to get. And then I was like, oh. It was really it was, cool, though. It was, oh, it, it, looked it, was, awesome. it was finding all the skulls, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. But, like, I don't know. No, that might have been... I feel like, no, Marath- no, Marathon was getting all the achievements, I right? don't know. I just remember it was, like, pretty easy the to Marathon get Marathon helmet? And I was, like, disappointed because, like, everybody had it. I don't remember. I remember the Marathon helmet was, like, the, the security. last one on the... Yeah, it was security. Yeah, security. See, but, it's, you know, it's the Marathon helmet. I like the so, yeah, EOD. Now, you're playing, now I play as Nathan Ooh. Fillion. I like the EOD helmet. Like, the blocky one. Is that what I'm The one that there? looks like a monkey? Oh, I Oh, the one that looks like Batman. Maybe. With the eyes, with the little. Beady it always eyes. looked like a monkey. I thought of Batman. Yeah, I think there were little eyes that had like big, like things that like big chunky bits. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is directly after the drop. During yeah, the so day. you can play in order if you want. Where it's like this happened, then this happened, this happened. But you can play completely out of order. Yeah. Um, Depending on what item you find in the order. And it doesn't tell you which oh, cool. is which, right? So you kind of don't know what the order is until after you've played it, you kind of know, yeah. like, oh, if I want to play an order, I do this and this. But yeah, I, I played the order. Well, you can tell because it prefaces uh, with, like, 30 minutes after drop. Oh, does it? An oh, hour man. after drop. Six hours after but drop. But, do, like, does it on the map when you're finding them? Oh, no. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. You wouldn't know in, until... In the cutscene. Like, if you were playing this for the very first time, you wouldn't know which one to pick. Do something wrong, because the only thing I regret... About it's Nathan Fillion. Yeah, it and he actually does look like Nathan Fillion, but it's still, like, like back when Bungie didn't know how to make faces, so it's, like, really weird Uncanny Valley. Like, ooh. It's pretty bad. Oh, yeah. That was years ago, Veronica. I'm a little fuzzy on it. Uh, details. 
unrelated note. So as you all probably know, Nathan Fillion has a new show coming out called Con Men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought the show was going to be about con men. And I'm so about? not actually like it's like men him, that vis oh, visit that conventions. Yeah, it's like him and Alan. They're, they're super famous. Yeah, Al it, it, Alan, it's, it's Tudor. Firefly. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like Alan. Is it Tudor? Is that even Alan Tudor? Tudor. He's yeah. in this game too. Yeah, he like he plays a guy who was in a really popular cult sci-fi show that was canceled. He played the pilot. He played the pilot, and then his buddy, not Nathan Fillion, has like mainstream success. Now, here's where that premise would work. It, where it's a documentary and it's about the depressing reality of washed up actors who do go to conventions and charge $40. It kind of, uh, from my understanding, kind of, I don't have an issue. I think it's going to be a great premise. I, I, I don't have an issue with the premise. But the the snarky, like, setting and dialogue I had in my head for these two these two actors to play con men that I created you when I first You wanted Dirty heard, Rotten Scoundrels. I wanted, I wanted Nathan Fillion and Alan Tudyk to be con men. Yeah, Dirty just Rotten Just like scoundrels. traveling, like just grifting people. And like I was like, I'd support that. No, it's just gonna be about Firefly, but not Firefly. <laughs> Pretty much. Because that okay. won't die. In your in your in your world where they play con men, do they still also are they playing themselves? And could the they their con Has... be but like we're going to oh my start god. a Kickstarter for Firefly yes. and actually conning people. Oh my god, Nathan Fillion is using his like his cult success from Firefly to just grift yeah. the hardcore yeah. fans. Like like he needs to be like an asshole version of himself. Like super like it's, Nathan Fillion is a super scummy version of what he actually is like. Ha have you ever seen My Name is Bruce? Uh yes, yeah. It's like it's like My Name is Bruce except with Nathan Fillion. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that's a that'd be a hilarious. Oh my promise. god, we need to Get, get Nathan Fillion on the phone. I have his number. Don't worry. I, I mean, he's gonna he's gonna be like the home button. I love you guys. I actually am contacting you because I watched your show and I heard your your premise and I love it. it, it let's make this happen. Yeah. I saw your pod hit. You're one lucky sob. Where, where do you see any more come down? Ah, negative. But I didn't see much of anything. After Sorry, it's a, it's a brain thing. I just I, I fell out of the pod. <laughs> I just crouched uncontrollably. <laughs> Dead elites. Hmm. Looks like a civil war. Looks like a. If you remember in Halo Two, the, the elites weed. and the brutes had a falling out. I thought that didn't happen to Halo, Halo 3. That happened mid-Halo 2. Yep. Oh. Which is when this game takes place. Yeah. Um, now, that they also use yeah, it as an gone. excuse of, like, the Brutes killed all the Elites, which is why you don't fight them, because they never programmed you to fight Elites in Halo 3. So, uh, you don't fight Elites in this at all. Because, oh. I mean, this is just, this is Halo 3 colon ODST. Yeah. You know, it looks and plays like Halo 3. Gotta say, I've never been a fan of the plasma pistol. Really? Yeah, never liked it. Ever. It's a legendary runner's best friend. Oh yeah, dude, plasma BMR combo for life. Those were words. Okay, you, dude, you take the plasma pistol, mm -hmm. you charge it, mm -hmm. you like hit I'm someone doing. with it, and what it does is it takes out their shields, mm -hmm. and, and you can you one shot. switch to the BR, which is a battle rifle, mm -hmm. and you can just headshot. It's oh, doing what I'm doing, but with a pistol. So like when you have a like a horrifying elite or something on your tail, you could just like. You know, duck out, quickly hit them, headshot them, and then, like, that takes care of that dude who would normally, like, like, fucking, like, wipe the floor with you. I played, Legendary. like, I played, like, a real yeah. Halo and didn't do that cheap shit. On Legendary? Yeah. Really? Yeah, did you play with, uh, co-op? Yeah, I think so. Well, co-ops. Well, then co-op, co did you do, the, did you do the strategy where you had derping. someone just run out and die, and then uh, the other person responds? Listen, I played, I played with my heart and Oh, my no! I, I play Halo with two guns in my hands, and, I, and yeah, I just run into the into enemy fire, and I just murder everyone. Okay, so you're not playing Legendary. Then. No, <laughs> because I'm Master Chief. I, wow, Ed, you took a long time to say Master Chief, and uh, no, I got it. And uh, when you were like, no, because I'm Master, and I'm like, what does masturbating have to do with I, Halo? You know well, well, that's you how know we do it. It has everything to do with Halo. One hand in the controller. Halo. He's like, I gotta put it on easy so I can still do this. It's like, I run in, guns blazing, fully erect. <laughs> Matt, Matt, so what you're trying to tell me is that, for the name Master Chief, 
you want everyone to constantly say Master Chief because the word because because that first part of the word Master Chief just instantly just makes your brain go haywire. Because I'm pretty sure I said that with a normal human pause. You did. So I want to focus on this Master Chief boner conversation we're having. <laughs> How do you think that works with that suit on? I think Master Chief has only one love. Well, Master Chief Master doesn't have any sexual urges. Yeah, that's to... That's if you want to go into the lore, they there, took out no all... There's no way Master Chief doesn't, if like, throw a grenade 50, like, yards, sticks a dude perfectly, and doesn't get a boner from that. <laughs> Because I know I do. I mean, I do. I think Master Chief has one love, and, and that then he's is like, justice. That is just incredibly And his, his mistress is freedom. If there's one thing so. that I want to talk about with Halo, it's the lore. Just kidding. So let's talk about this boner. <laughs> I think it would hurt. Because he's wearing a big old suit. It's got he's a, wearing it's a cod piece. Oh, has he got a good cock piece going on? Yep. I, I know it's like cod piece. I think like it's the cock piece, right? It's where your dick goes. So like... Wait, he has a Call of Duty piece on? What? He has a uh, that's like that's a good one right jokes. there. Jokes. Right? Great joke. So I'm here I, on that. Listen, if we can dig back into being 12 years old, I don't know. I think that boner. Well, we are been... playing Halo, so yeah. Fair, fair. Um, Halo's for grown men. <laughs> <laughs> These boys I'm a, a man. A bit when he said that. <laughs> Halo's for grown men. <laughs> 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 And then they punched a kid and was like, I'm a man, damn it. <laughs> Do you think all those things happened then? Yes. All of those things happened. All those things no, happened. No, your then. mom's a prostitute. <laughs> no, I'm way better at video games. My mother is dead because I am a grown man and not a child like you whose mother is a prostitute. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Nate, you Ow. got really dark there. You mean Ed? No, I mean Nate. Because that's we're portraying. That, that, that's what I said. That's so, what, yeah, we're portraying. Remember, Ed, this is the shtick that you're doing. <laughs> know your own bit, Ed. Am I in a bit that I don't know about? <laughs> it's just that we're like pretending we are Nate. Oh, I am Nate. This, this game. Guys, I don't think Ed was pretending. I think he actually meant all that. Ed's mom so. is dead. No, she's not. No, she's very. She's, uh, she's very much alive. Sure, she's I'm alive sure and, ex mom is and a, a saint. Lovely Are you lady. sure? Ed's mother is also a saint, just this sin. <laughs> Ed, I didn't know you were so religious. Is that you panting? Yep. He's like, oh, no, that's Nathan How Fillion panting. How much padding is in the cod piece? What? How much padding is in the cod piece? I mean, there's probably like, a lot of padding in all of And there. is it like a set amount, or does it like in the, or is like there a uh, cushion what? of air in the suit that can like deflate and reinflate? What, like? Like, can you like say I need more shoulder padding suit, and it like puffs up the puff? Oh, like the like the up. back. I would I would make a Back to the Future reference, but you're a horrible human being. I've seen it. Um. So it's like the clothing from Back to the Future. I, I, I don't. Yeah. No, I, the well, the Mjolnir armor would not. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna give you the can lore response. Oh, please give us that. Does, it, does oh. it move and shift around? Can Can it do that? I'm not sure if it can or not, but if it if it could. You wouldn't be able to control it. It would be controlled by your onboard AI. By Cortana. Yeah, he just tells Cortana. This is where I was going with it. Thank so, you, so, so he's like, hey, Cortana, could you uh, give me a little bit more room in the cod piece? And That's she's like, oh, uh, And then she's like, why? okay. Right, right, right. Here's what because I'm you're here, Cortana. This is, yeah, that's what I'm saying is, it does Master Chief has to ask Cortana to adjust his suit, and he's like, I need it a little bit looser. Now, well, she probably tighter, knows maybe? is the thing, because she oh, probably has access to his vitals. So oh, she's yeah. Like, she, so she's like, fully aware like, of his erection. Uh, Perfect. But what this I'm, is the future we live in. We just have AI inside us that constantly know we have That's boners. constantly controlling the flux okay. inside our cod Okay, uh, slight shift on the conversation. If you had an, your own AI, how okay would you feel masturbating? What the shit? Same thing. Like, you just you have an AI that's just on you at all times. Uh, it's what your I best was friend. saying He's was, totally does awesome. he get Cortana to, like help him out with the suit inflation and deflation. Like inflate, uh, not deflate, uh, a little faster Maybe with the inflating nice. and deflating. I want to know, Add Matt, them. if you had your own Cortana-like AI. If I had my own Cortana-like AI, would I be cool with like jerking it with the AI around? Yeah, or you're having, you're having sex with your girlfriend. Well, the Cortana- And there's like an AI there just at all times. <laughs> you can't turn it off. Well, like, I feel like the AI is a robot, like your Xbox One. It's a human brain. But yeah, but it's is an it AI. Human brain? Well, it's an AI, artificial intelligence. It's not a VI. It's made from a human brain. That's weird. Yeah, it's based on a human. 
All right, well then, well like AI, um, all right, so I guess if it was like, no, I'm, I guess I'm not super happy about it then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do it, I'm just not okay with it. Well, like, I There's was, no way I'm not gonna well, do I it. I was thinking it was like robot, robot, like a robot ass robot. No, 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 that, that would be like, a, that'd be a VI. I mean, yeah, but we're, we're, we're gonna get the hardcore nerd on you. Yeah. Yeah, that's technically this thing. Man. No, 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 like a VI oh, is, 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 a, is a robot that is simulating intelligence, but isn't actually about. intelligent. Right, and AI what? is a real, like, But you know what nothing a normal person, no one, no normal nerd or human being has heard of a, a VI. They've heard yeah. of it. Like, yeah, hey, well, guess what? No normal person's watching this fucking show right now. <laughs> Truth. That's also true. Preach. <laughs> You can't be Thank like, you, hey, everyone in the audience, you know what I'm saying. This fucking nerd, right? People watching a show about video games. I'm just saying, I if it was like a dumb AI where it's like, I can wipe your ass in your suit, Matthew, I'd be like, that's cool. You don't know what sex really is. Like, you mechanically understand what sex is, robot, but you don't understand what lovemaking is. And if it, But if it was like a real AI with like <laughs> thoughts and feelings... <laughs> then I would be a little bit, I would feel a little bit different I, about it. I watching love how much you thought you put like into that. this. Well, it's just like, if it's sentient, Remember who I you're don't, talking to. That's true. I don't want it to, like, be around during, it's like how I wouldn't want a person around, like, watching me while I poop, which is definitely happening with, with Cortana. She has definitely handled all of Master Chief's doo-doos within his whole, have you guys ever thought about that? Cortana no. has literally had to wipe Master Chief's butt since he got in that thing. Yeah. Uh, Whoa, okay, like legitimate thing I actually thought about. So if you think about from the beginning of Halo 2, uh, Halo 3 starts right after the end of Halo 2. So there's no well, break in between mm, that. No. Okay, but you know what I mean. Like there's not really much of a break for Master Chief in between 2 and 3. Sure. Well, in, in in the games, no. Whatever. No, even, no, I know there's that whole thing where he gets on the ship and whatever, but like he doesn't stop for a breather. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. He, doesn't, then, he doesn't go out to, he doesn't go to a Benigan's. Yeah. And so, like get an onion bloom. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So he Halo two to Halo three. Benigan's is his favorite. And spot. then it is. after Halo three, he's in cryostasis for like six years. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I think it's like four. Whatever. Wakes up and then and does that's all where of Halo, Halo ends. No, he does all of Halo four that, right? without a break either. <laughs> that means within the period of three games, Master Chief hasn't taken his helmet off and eaten any food once. Does, does the suit provide nutrients? That's what I'm wondering. Because he doesn't take the helmet off at any point in those games. Nate? In the books he what? does, from what I understand. I've well, at the end them. of Halo 1, he takes it off. What? No, in no, the no. beginning saying, of Halo I'm, 2, no. he puts it on. I'm saying from the point he puts on the suit in Halo 2 all the way until Halo 4, Master Chief is in that suit the entire time. What does he eat? Almost there. The blood of his enemies. Cortana recycles uh, uh, the doo-doo uh, into an edible substance. Okay, uh, oh, oh, like a shit steak. Yeah. I'm pretty. Is that in Dune? What? Dune? Dune? Anyone? Dune? No, that's science. That's a real thing you can get, Ed. Is it? A shit steak? Yeah. Okay. That's the thing they're working on. Um. That's just, that's just life. That's gross. Would you eat that? No. Why not? A poop steak? Yeah. Why not? It's poop. But it's what a steak. It's a delicious steak. Sean Luke, I don't think. Medium rare. <laughs> <laughs> Get some Montreal steak seasoning on it. Hold on, I'm gonna really quick up look up delicious in the uh, on the internet. Oh, I'm not saying hold it's on, delicious. Hold on, hold on, I got my smartphone out. Uh, delicious poop steak. No, it said that's impossible. <laughs> um, I don't. On the internet, that somehow on the, the internet, like even Google's like, I don't know what you want. <laughs> At no point you would ever eat a shit steak. No. What do you mean? <laughs> Why not? Would you, Jean Luc? Yeah. I'll try it. I don't believe you. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Ed? Nah, nah, no. I agree with you, Matt. No. <laughs> Fuck me. It's, they're so good. I, I'm a firm believer in just not doing things that are stupid. Like, okay, let's just take Everest, for example. Buzzkill. Climbing Everest is a feat that you have to do in which you have to walk past the dead bodies of those who have failed. The <laughs> dead corpses of those who oh. have tried the same thing as you but die doing it are literally landmarks on the way. It's only 40 people, I mean, a, a year. That's not that bad. What? 
Only 40 people here. I thought you were going to say of all time. This, I was like, no, it's like 40. Like thing. Thing. No, no, not 40. Uh, maybe it's not 40 here, but it's like 700 total. And like, I want to say like... It's the same thing with Mars. Everyone was like, there was that company that's totally a scam that's totally not going... You well, they're not, not going to Mars. We're not okay. going to Mars. Anyone who thinks that you're Almost signing your name up to go to... Like, one of the 40 people who's going to go to one-way trip to Mars, you're not going to Mars. That company has a long history of having no actual science behind them, but that's not the point. The point is, it's like, oh, one-way trip to Mars in a really shitty journey that's going to take you months. No, I'm not going to do it because that's stupid. Ed, uh, going back to Everest, uh, fun fact, now if you go to Everest, you actually... So Everest is uh, completely, uh, like, ruined because there's so much shit on the mountain, yeah. right? So, because people just poop there and they're like, Because Whatever. it's a horrible but thing to do. there's just so much frozen poop. That you, if you climb Mount Everest, you have to bring back a certain, like, a pound load of poop back with you. It's... Uh, I Really? Yeah, I'm not no, that's the thing they're making people do. That way they can eventually get all the poop out. Gross. Listen, I'm so, so not only do you have to climb Mount Everest, you also have to carry a pile of shit down with you. So it's two horrific, stupid things. Yeah. Listen, I'm, if you want to advance human exploration and science in a stupid, uncomfortable manner, good for you. But if I'm going to go to space, I'm assuming that the, the shit stake is like a, a space travel thing where like resources are scarce. I assume... That, that's the idea. The I assume idea is, that, know, that's, where I'm, that's why I'm going on this they're, tangent they're space travel. They're not saying... Like, yo, let's just eat our own shit for it's, no reason. Yeah, it's like we need to recycle every resource we have because, because we're, we're in a all cold, gonna we're die. In the, we're in the depth of space and we're idiots. Or, or we're eventually okay just gonna with reach like, the point like, where turning, we become, like, uh, I'm okay with them turning like bugs and stuff into like food that tastes good and not yeah. look like a bug. Like, I think that's a great idea because like bugs have way more protein per pound than like meat does. Yeah. Like scientifically, like a bug, if you had like a pound of bug versus like a pound of steak, there's way more protein in the pound of bug. So like I think that's a great idea, but no, I'm not gonna eat my I, feces. I'm, I'm not an animal. I'm my dumb pug. I'm sorry, Ed. My dumb pug. I have to go on this right. When it would, when it got old, Hamlet would eat his poop. We named him Hamlet. He would eat his poop. That's Hamlet adorable. Pug. Not the poop eating part, but there's a pug named Hamlet. Yeah, it's great, that's right? adorable. There's nothing adorable about pugs. Oh, you're wrong. So, so he would eat his poop in like. That was like so sad because he was old and crazy and lost his mind. And he didn't have any more taste, but he ate his poop. I'm not gonna turn all dogs eat their poop to a crazy old sad dog that can't even taste. I, I will go into space. <laughs> I will I on television in front of ones of people. One. I am I am making this statement. I will go into space the day I can go in, eat a burger, drink my milkshake. And then leave. Go into a stasis pod and wake up, and I'm on a fully functional, so like, planet, like, like eight, another thing. At the, I will accept bubble dome, like, space like Gallifrey whatever, right. City, yeah. at minimum. Yeah, I would prefer oh, terraforming. Okay. Going if it's like, I, I would prefer try. terraforming, but I mean, I understand. We're it's we're, let's not get crazy here. But Even if terraforming was possible on our planets, it would take so long you would never see it. Exactly. I, and I don't think you can terra- I think there's something about Mars that you can't terraform. No, no, well that's what I'm saying. You cannot terraform Mars. Yeah. But um, even if it's something could, with the atmosphere or the would take something. way too long. Um, but, yeah, I'm not gonna do the whole, like, loose, weird, like, buildings that you have to go from building to building and then everything outside the building is death. That's just stupid. I think you're gonna die here, Nate. I have one life to live. Nah. I'm going to do it in a comfortable chair eating a sandwich. Nate, you're going to die. Nah. John Luke, can I please cross my legs? Oh, no, you can now. Oh, thank it God. Was, yeah, oh, it was just during your other part. There was an alternate part. death animation of those guys, of the, what are they called? Hunters. The hunters that never made it into Halo. Oh, really? Do you want to hear about them? Sure. Uh, sure. Yeah. So, Dude, give uh, us one, of our, one of the professors at Champlain College, his name is Nate Walpole, who's an animator on Halo 2 and 3. Uh, and I think ODST and some other stuff. Um, he, he has. Are you allowed uh, to say this? What? Like, I mean, it's it's like an okay. old game. Just wondering. Really, yeah, no. He like showed it to us and was like, "Isn't that cool?" Um, it's just like he has it, but like they just didn't use it for anything. He is a so he made this block out animation. So it's just like a gray like version of them, 
and like a very rough animation of it where when it dies it falls and the helmet comes off and like because they're made of like weird oh, worm all the things, worms go all the worms come out. oh that would be awesome yeah Th and all that, the worms like out of all out. the things we've said and they thought that was too spooky for the thing so they were like yeah that's really the creepy flu the flutter okay <laughs> um yeah, the flutter. zombie parasites um, out of all the things we talked about and said on the show, that's the thing that's gonna get us. Like that's we did it, John Luke. We did it. Yeah. That's the angry email we're gonna get. No, we no. You're way. gonna get, that. That was. No, he oh, was, oh, I thought you were saying like that was the thing that was gonna get people actually like watch it. Oh no, no, I'm saying like, that's it. Hey like, man, we got them sweet Halo hookups. No, it's that's the thing that's gonna be like you weren't supposed to talk about that. No, that was, I mean you know I, I'm it wasn't being even, thoughtful. They're gonna come in. Oh no, I, no, 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 I understand. understand. I think it would be hilarious. It wasn't. Because I didn't say it. Yeah, it wasn't like used and like, it was basically, for all intents and purposes, it was something he made that no one wanted, mm -hmm. you know? I just thought that was the, everyone in, he, he showed it to a, our class and we were like, that was awesome, why wasn't that there? He's like, they thought it was too like weird. Like there, it, it was also, when you watch it, you're like, oh, that was creepy. Like well, it gave you a creepy tingle in your body. It's, it's it's a it's a being oh. literally made, made up of, of like, like millions of worms yeah. that are like symbiotically working together. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a horrifying animal ah. thing, beast monster. That's what I do like about uh, Halo is that um, it's sci it's it's sci-fi gets weird. It does. It's, but we, I mean, unfortunately, what, what a lot of the weird sci-fi is, sci is on, on heroic. What? Yeah. Oh, we had this conversation when we watched uh, we watched Alien with Matt for the first time. Maybe we got another, how, like, we're going to probably have to wrap it up and switch over. Okay. We liked, uh, we liked Alien, or we liked Star Wars, because Star Wars gets really weird with it. Yeah, like, it's yeah, not like yeah. Star Trek or Mass Effect. Mass Effect gets a little weird, but, like, Star Trek, where every life form you meet in Star Trek is typically a human with a weird body ridge. Yeah, well, like a Star Wars. Where Star Wars, where they're just you, you like... You just go to the cantina, and you're like, all these things are fucking... There's, like, a, <laughs> there's like a wolf man, and, like, a thing that's, like, just a weird mouth. I saw someone today that had a beard and facial hair that made him look like a wolf man. Oh, cool. Oh. It was impressive. Are you sure he wasn't a wolf man? <laughs> I'm not. That's true. You would not have time for this. Me neither. You, do you think wolf men are really happy about hipsters? They're like, thank God hipsters made like giant lumberjack beards. Cool. Or like yeah. a acceptable gentlemanly thing to have. Gentlemanly? Yeah. I would, I would say I remember it's like, when I was a kid I would that, say that Wolfman guy was like a weird. I don't know. Do, do you think? Uh, do you think um, uh, vampires appreciate like goth kids and vampire kids? <laughs> um, I, it must be so easy as a vampire in, in my hypothetical situation where vampires are real. Come get me. Um, what are you talking I just about? thought it was. Do you guys remember the Wolfman from when we were young? There was this one guy that was super hairy, and he was like all over the news, and they were like. That's He's, the thing. No, that's yeah. like that's a common. It's not common. It's like, but there's yeah, but, like more than one. It yeah, like, definitely. It's, a, it's, it's just a, a. It's an extreme. Like it's whatever. It's a genetic it is. trait. Yeah, and like, I thought that was so weird that they're like, look at this freak show. I was like, he seems like a person that just has a lot of hair, and I felt so bad for him as like as a child. I was like, this, this seems wrong. What we're doing to a human. We're like, we guys, you know, we shouldn't be doing this. I was like, I'm I'm a child with base level morals, and I don't. Why are we exploiting wolf, a hairy human? I, <laughs> I don't know. You can you can you can argue that he's making. I mean, yeah, like I don't know if he made a living off it. I mean, or I'm whatever. not saying that this is the right answer. Yeah. I'm just saying that there's one view that he's making a probably a relatively good living. Yeah, maybe he's making some doing, money off. Just of doing us. nothing but doing appearances, just like, hey, this is what I am. Do you like my hair? <laughs> and he was like married, and they were like, what are you gonna do if you have wolf babies? She's like, then we'll have hairy kids. Yeah, there's, uh, she, the the wife was like, yeah, I guess, like whatever. There's, there's a whole si uh, CSI episode about this because remember, kids in Las Vegas, every murder involves no one just murders each other in Las Vegas according to CSI. It's always there's always like an alien involved. There's a wolf men. All right, Nate, we're gonna have to stop. Um, and there's like a weird. You got like, us really far. There's though, like a certain that. percentage chance of carrying over to certain degrees. It's, good. it's really weird. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna. Cut it off here. Yep, that's Halo. We're going to move into Splatoon, which I am... Oh, and this is a very exciting day. For the first time ever since Emilio left, John luc Mute me. ...is going to be right, coming gonna in Matt. here like a real person. That's right, I am. I, sw I swear he's done it before. I don't think so. Not, not while, um... Not since Emilio's left. And he is going to play some Splatoon. I mean, I ran in there that one time to move camera stuff, but... Did you say Emilio? I know, I said Emilio. Emilio. I, I might have said it. 
Um, you totally said a meme, Leo. Me me blah, 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 blah. We all know how much Emilio loves memes. Memes on the mind. Every every day he comes in. I don't. Man, I'm so I'm, a, I'm such an adult now. I don't remember where are memes that yeah, kids what? do today. Is, yeah, you can. Is, Did you switch the audio Lee, over as well? Yeah. Is like uh, Lee Lee oh, me is still a thing? Yeah. Are Rage Comics still a thing? Yeah, I think so. I mean, for someone they are. I don't know the internet anymore. Does does anybody truly? We're all just. Wait, did you actually? Okay, all right. I'm gonna yeah. come over. I had this. Uh, <laughs> I had this horrible day. So there on on Reddit earlier, there was a thread about like what's a a, a comp, like what's a thing that you were really into that you're ashamed about? Like what's a trend that you did that you hated? And this kid, not this kid. Kid, he said, oh my God. I, back when I was in middle school, I used to be a huge brony. Thank God I grew Switch. out of that. And I had <laughs> I this horrible realization ah. that my little pony has been on the air for so long oh, yeah. that hardcore fans have been able to age, progress, reflect on their life, and say, that was a weird time for me. Yeah, that's been like four or five years. It's now. been like five years. Yeah, cool. Hey, everybody. Trask, hey. Platoon. I, don't, I have no regrets. I watched My okay. Little Pony. It I was guys. It was fine. He's real. It was a show. Oh, he, he He's physical. I, I'm, I feel like I'm Indiana Jones at the end. I, I did Above not Temple own Doom, where all the kids are trying to touch No, no. I, here's my thing with My Little Pony. Becca really likes it. Oh, yeah. wait. I, wait, wait. I love you can, like, see the appeal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so these are the Squid Girls. Okay. It's Splatoon. This is the Squid Girls. Sure. At the beginning of the game, whenever you load it up, they will tell you what maps are currently on rotation. Oh, there's a limited number of maps on rotation? There's only two at a time, and they switch them, so it's a server thing where the server switches them. That's interesting. And they, they will tell you which ones are. Uh, what is she wearing on her head, the left one? I, like a sponge. Okay, I'm sure there's no a reason looks, for that. I like honestly mattress. don't like it. I, I, for me, I just want to pick the map that I want to play. I don't know if that's just me. I think that's a really weird. I think it's an interesting choice. I think I'm it's a curious. weird. I think it's an interesting design choice. Yeah. I oh. just stay fresh. They, you, they use the word fresh oh, a lot man. in this game. It's not enough. For I me really to say. love the whole thing this game is doing. I've, oh, everything oh my, about really, this game aesthetically. I, okay, I love. now I'm, I'm mad to, that I don't have a Wii U for this. Right? Okay, wait. So there's an open world. I've been really debating sixty bucks for this game. Get it. Now I just I think this just just this this game is this is the first time I've ever seen this game played. Wait, what about your special? What? what? Okay, we'll, we'll no, no, we'll, 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 don't worry, we'll get to that. We're, now we're, that we're not doing that part seeing right it real, I'm just like, this is charming. I'm gonna go for this. Okay, yeah, it so. Looks, right, it looks like appealing. <laughs> well, here's the first part I was gonna show. Uh, this okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Meverse oh, is so Nintendo. So this, this is the hub world of the game yeah. where you can go to all the different places, and one of the things it has is. Well, um, this is for ranked, guys. It populates your area <laughs> with um, <laughs> other players. Like, they're not actually in the oh, lobby right like now, but it like it fills like them there. It's just know? like, it just like puts He's them like, in, but they're not there in real time in real space. Exactly. Um, and it also populates some with all their Miiverse posts, and this game fun. has some of the best, you should not eat those with mics on, a, a has the lot, best uh, Miiverse posts. A lot of 9-11 conspiracy yeah, stuff. Yeah, okay, so here's what you'll get. You will get uh, Squidward, lots really of Squidward. Well done. Pro can you go back? Hmm? Props to Thomas. Great, oh, yeah. great. Also, um, good name get. <laughs> yeah, good, uh, good for you, Thomas. No, so you'll, get, Whoa, you'll, get, uh, you'll, get, you'll get some subpar memes. A lot of memes um, that are not necessarily school they're related. So well drawn. They're very well drawn. Um, you'll also get uh, references to Call of Duty. Um, you will get uh, references to the 7.8 that IGN gave this game, mm -hmm. and then you'll get references to 9/11. A, a lot of like jet fuel <laughs> came oh, out steel beams. At, at one point, I saw um, <laughs> a, uh, a Game Grumps joke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Oh, and if I uh, I can go uh, I can look at them. They're just like superstars. They're just, this is oh true. yeah, they're they're like idols. Oh uh, my god, what's here, on her it, head? The other one. And if oh, I keep, if I keep looking at them long Why enough, is it a bowl? Are, are they gonna like be like? Do the, they look at you and be like, fuck you get doing? the fuck out of here? Yeah. See, they wave oh. at me. Oh, I Aww. thought. They say hi. Stay fresh, young. Stay fresh. Oh yeah, a new DLC is coming out today. Literally after George we're done recording so the show. Like right after. Like right after. Hour we're done. Okay, uh, so. Oh, what is it, the Nest app? Uh, how much is a Wii U? 
<laughs> you can get <laughs> the Splatoon bundle. Oh wait, my bundle. friend Matt said he's gonna get it. You can get you the Splatoon bundle. Matt, and I'm live with um, this is Reap with the Amiibo. Um, I don't have my Amiibo yet. I bought an Amiibo for it. I've my... heard some people complain. Like, I it's, heard... it's arriving tomorrow. I've heard some people complain the fact that like this is kind of like the where people are really seeing. This is kind of stupid that we can't do all the stuff the game has. I heard it's not that a, great, though. I, he, but I hear... Uh, some of the Miiverse posts also appear as graffiti on yeah. the which well, is really cool. I hear that that's like a common defense of it. It's not that great or not that important, but then other people are saying, well, it doesn't matter. Like, it's still content in the game that so I have to So let's quickly run to some buy stores. Buy yeah. So I got all these different stores. I can also just um quickly go to any of these by oh, that's, uh, on that's the, interesting. That's cool. the controller here. I can just tap them. Uh, so this is the Jellyfish. shop. Uh, I can buy clothing and try them on. Uh, oh, and they do things. They're... Yeah, so they are all have different perks associated. That's with them. really cool. Um, so your clothing, so I have like the main perk and eventually you get little sub perks mm -hmm. in addition to them. I don't like that. And I can just switch over to the other ones. I get shoes. What the hell is, is he a shrimp? He's a, uh, yeah, he's a like- Has he already been- Partially fried Yeah, has he already been deep fried? Shrimp. Yeah, uh, and he's got little shoes he on his legs. Dead. Jellyfish. That's a horrible uh, life. The sea urchin. Oh my kill, god, that's kill. my favorite one. That's the best character in any video game I've ever made. Kill, kill Tempora. <laughs> All of the Release characters in this me. game are Please. adorable. I'm half dead. My insides uh, are fried. And then this guy I, I can buy I cannot from. live like this. He's a horseshoe crab. That's so good. I really liked the uh, girl with the head. Wasn't yeah, it? I'm yeah. just like... Can we just take a second to really appreciate how just new and creative this game is? Oh, this game yeah, is great. And I'm so really I, I, I want to sit in... I want to be the fly I, uh, on the wall. That I don't have much... Like, in the creative meeting that made yet, this game. But, uh, you know, let's go on rocking. Very so hipster. Squid? Is it? But you're a kid. Is it? Is it? You're a hipster. Too. Is it going to be like uh, that that famous pitch when James Cameron got the sequel rights to Alien, Aliens? And oh, he, just, he, wrote, he just, just wrote Alien, and then wrote an S, and then wrote a dollar sign, and that was it. Um, is oh. it going to be like squids, dollar sign, walk away? They're like, yes. Noise. <laughs> Stop the memes! <laughs> I do appreciate this. Oh, every time you um leave oh and come God! back, it uh <laughs> it, it recycles the meat. Um, oh, the, the, the right. So you'll get you get new um post pre That's like. So good. Uh, here, if I go to there are some uh, deep some deep memes. If right I go now. to this guy. Oh my God! It's a sea cucumber. This guy has back. a thing where um if I want a particular item, if I'm Say, yeah. uh, say I really want these headphones. Who's the guy with the Like, I see face this person, and, and I'm like, I like those headphones. Zer, oh, Zer. Zer? Is that Zer of, of Splatoon? <laughs> uh, kind of, <laughs> in a weird way. If I see the, I'm like, I want those headphones. I like the way they look. I like the perk. I can say, uh, order gear, mm -hmm. and I can order them. And once a day, he'll, or, he'll get me a thing. That's cool. And, and you have to wait 24 hours, and when you get it, it costs a lot of money. Hmm. Uh, but that's like, a, if you want something in particular that you saw a person have, you can actually do that once a day, which is pretty cool. Um, so let's just jump into a game. Yeah, let's... Uh, also, if I want to do my own me first post, right here. This is getting some rocking music. Mm, mm, mm. You, should, you should do, like, watch the home button. That's true. You guys are live on the what? internet. John Luke, why are you not pimping our show out on, Spl on Splatoon? That's true, do that. <laughs> what? Why'd you laugh? You just, just, John Luke, you stand in that street corner. <laughs> right, you two with my sign. <laughs> and you say... Home button. Splash. I got, I got, I got a sweet oh, show. Me. I've never actually seen people do that. On, <laughs> uh, you, I'm like, I think that people would pimp their stuff out more often. Oh, I'm like, I've never seen that. I'm a squid now. I've never seen the, anyone like, check out my right? YouTube channel. They just like, they just right, do this. So right now there's only one game mode. Oh, you're a kid now. It's called now. Turf. But they're releasing a new one tonight. <laughs> yes. Cool. Uh, or, or, well, they're releasing stuff now. I don't know if that's fancy. I heard there was a game mo mode, but I could be mistaken. Um, oh, and um, some of the Meavers appear in the game as well. <laughs> and John Luke said, fuck that. <laughs> so, the point of the game right now is we're just trying to fill up the whole map. You can actually look at the map on um, my controller. Yeah, it's actually really interesting. Uh, you can't see it, but it's just basically the, a, a, a bird's eye view of the map and the, the amount of pa the paint being sprayed in real time to kind of give you an uh, idea of the where the turf is divided. So, um, the whole thing is you don't get any points for killing people. Killing people only benefits you in the sense that you're like stopping someone from painting the map. Um, so you, it, it kind of, you behave a little bit differently than most um, shooters where you're not like, I'm just gonna sit here and get sick headshots. Uh, you really want to focus on, you know, the actual objective. Cause that's also how you get points for yourself, which is what gives you leveling up and currency and all that good stuff. Uh, so- For this game, I 
yeah. Well, I think in general, this is kind of works. But yes, in this game mode. Um, I think the, the other ones are more like, um, I know some of them are like, you pick a different spot or like a Whoa, that painter. It. Yeah, that guy's got a paint roller. That thing is OP. Really? I heard, I, so I watched it, I'm sorry. I heard someone else say that like, it's as long as you're like paying attention, like as long as you're kind of looking for it, you know? No, yeah, if you're looking then, for like, it, it's fine, but as like an you, initial like, Yeah, if you just roll up on thing, him. He, it's he, pretty good. Yeah, if he's like up close to you, you're uh, gonna get struck. So big thing is that when I'm in my ink thing, it's a lot harder for you to see me and hit me. I also can move way faster. I cannot move in the other people's ink. And in fact, when I'm in uh, the other team's ink, it slows me down and hurts me. So I don't want oh, to be you in that. Oh, you got fucked, Mike. That's got splat. Um, oh, it's a. Oh, what the hell? I thought he oh, here's a fun thing that uh, most people don't know. Um, also on my map, I can see my other players. If I tap them, it sends me to them. Oh, that's cool. Oh, which uh, is super convenient because it can get you across the map really quick. Uh oh, paint well, fast. Maps are. Or not maps. The matches are, are really short. short. They are yeah. really short, and I like that. Um, yeah. You kind of get in, get out. Uh, you also have to get, become a squid to recharge your ink. So you have to be a squid so to recharge your ink, but you have to be a kid. To shoot. To shoot. Yeah. So you're, you, know, you, say, you know what they say. It's right, all you say that you're, you're, you're a squid, you're a kid. You're a squid, you're a kid. Get out of here. <laughs> you're I like spawn camping. Yeah, you Schmuck. are. No, I'm I, just you trying mean to paint, you man. Pro, you, pro, uh, you pro squid player. I'm just trying to paint. Yeah, just do it up. Uh, one thing I'm also really bad about is I always forget to use like the different abilities and what, stuff. What, what did that do? Uh, I actually don't even know. All the yeah. abilities again, they're tied to the weapons. Um, so and there are like there <laughs> you can't really customize it. So it's sort of like an intentional. Every weapon has its own trade-offs, and it, that's kind of how it's balanced. Mm. Um, I think it works pretty well. You totally lost. Oh problem. Oh oh, oh yeah. Oh no. I, I, de no oh, I definitely lost. Oh yeah. wow, you guys got wrecked. Yeah. I've had it where it's really close. Who's that? Oh, this is just a cat. He's my. He doesn't have a name. Ah, uh, he does. He's the beginning. Oh, I love this. No. I like the music. By the way, my name's Ed. No. Oh, thanks. It's not. It's not because of you. What? <laughs> it's nothing to do with you. My name is Ed. Oh, thanks. It's not because of you. You fuck. No, it's because um. One Ed. The I name know. comes from whichever your primary um, me is, and my no. primary me. It looks like Edward Elric, so I named him Ed. Ah. And uh, that's why I called him Ed. Who's Edward Elric? Uh, he's, he's from, from August. He's yep. from that weird nerd stuff. What? Anime. Oh. That thing, oh, you, that thing oh, that you're into now. Full Metal. Yeah, Full Metal. I was like, that sounds really familiar. Um, so let's, I'm going to just jump ahead, because there's all actually like a couple different modes here I want to show off. All right, well, let's well, first you have to post yeah, well, well, Let's see if we got any sweet new Miiverse posts. Um... I, I was talking with uh, me, and, <laughs> me and Gaber sharing. Uh, <laughs> I, I want that armor. Oh, so God. order it. Uh, I think that one I have. That one you can only get through in the amiibo. So I might actually get that one. Um, actually, I don't know which one I get for which Guys, I'm upset. amiibo. By what? With that person's post. <laughs> did you read it? Yes, I did. It's a little creepy. Um, <laughs> me and uh, Gaber are sharing our different ones, and. Epic he got memes. he got um, investigate 911. Me and my brother got one that said uh, jet fuel can't uh, melt steel bars. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go back. There was another really celebrate good one. the festival of life. That's just wow. like a good drawing. Good. Someone just like took effort and like. Yeah. Right. Which is weird because I feel like that like I can't even write with decent handwriting. Dude, look at that guy. You. He's a shogun. That's awesome. That squid is giving you the moves. Okay, so we're gonna go over here to it's the hips don't lie. single player, the which they have very single they don't player. yeah they don't advertise it at all. But there's a, a well, single player mode. It's really good. Yeah. It's actually really good. It's a uh, very puzzle platformer based. Uh, it's actually really cool. Like I would totally play a fully You're fleshed single something? player yeah. only game. Um, is this like another overworld where you have to like go yeah. to each? Okay. Yeah. Um, there's five different. Sean Luke, would you say that? Uh, it's pretty short, it's only 27 levels. I haven't done all of them yet. I okay. Them all. Yes. All right. What? That was weird. What? what was oh, that? where I was the thing. Where, yeah, where you were a ball. Goop. Oh. oh. Messed up. All right. Can we edit any of this in post? Uh, not for the did, not for the people on television. Did you say 
a really bad word. I yeah. said a really <laughs> bad word. And I didn't it, me too. I can <laughs> oh, I know what you said. Oh man, you're in trouble. Anyway, I'm doing this this Splatoon stuff. So um, Jean Luc, here's what you're gonna do. <laughs> you're gonna cut Matt, I'm gonna edit it out. Okay, right. let's just you're, stop we're gonna cut to right stop, now. Here. Stop focusing right. on it. I'm gonna, I know that's what I'm saying. We have to because we've been talking about it. No, I'm not gonna cut out exist. all of no, this I'm, stuff. I'm gonna draw as much attention to as physically. Now, now it's funny. That yeah, now it's hilarious. It's horrible. No, it's funny. It's so bad. You really didn't mean to say it. I know, but I feel bad. Okay, so. When I'm in, jump. I can, yeah, I can jump further. And I'm a little Maybe squiggy. just when I said it and when Matt, it shot up. <laughs> uh, this reminds me a lot of Super Mario. Um, uh, just this whole thing, the whole setup really of this. Shut up. <laughs> Matt, really, seriously, just like, let it go, okay? Let it go. It's bad. <laughs> we know, and you're making it we worse. We will know, and we'll deal with it. Okay. <laughs> we like, will, we will really? fix your mistake. <laughs> like we always but do. But you need to shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Be professional, god damn it. All right, so that I went out the window a while ago. Climb up this and then I blast him. It's not hard, no. but it reminds me a lot of Mario Galaxy. Kind of the, the aesthetic yeah. of all this reminds me a lot of Mario. That I would absolutely so play a whole thing, uh, like a whole game just like this. So there we go. The tentacle popping out was very disturbing. For By me. the way, I actually like the motion controls. Um, yeah. they, they're hard to get used to, but once you get used to them, I, I think I'm... I, gotta, I feel like they would come in handy for a game like this, where it's... I gotta, okay, get up a time. Bam! Look at his little leg. Let me guess. The third time is the charm. Oh, yeah. Nemoto Rule of Three is all the way, baby. Uh, by the way, the weapons and armor and all that stuff in the single player, only in the single player. There are upgrades. You can upgrade them. But, again, that's only for the single player. It does not cross over. Oh, boy. That, uh, ooh. Nice. Yeah. Now do you start over or are you still... I don't know, I actually never died when I played it before. It looks like it's... Yeah, no, it's, it's where you left off. Ah! So let's paint them. I'm not gonna get it this time if I at least paint that guy. When do you get to shoot the tentacle? I gotta, when, when I just gotta to get up. Oh, you have to get down. So how are you guys? I'm, I'm, I'm doing great. I'm, great. I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic. Ugh. Everything's great. Yep. Ooh. Wait, that only take two? No, three. Three. That feels like three. You just weren't paying attention. You, you, you were, were focusing you were, on you were, you were focusing on the fact that your entire life's been destroyed. Pretty much. I think that's what I did here tonight. I was thinking, I was like, maybe I shouldn't go tonight. I'm a little tired, you know, long day. No. Just what did you get? Oh, I grabbed a... Squish, squash, mash. Um, I grabbed a little... Uh, what are they called? I don't know. You're grabbing these dudes. Although that one was like a plushy version because I already did the level. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of nice. I accidentally went into it again. Whatever. I guess we're... All right, one more time. <laughs> nah, I mean, I'm just going to head out anyway to the next... Octo Valley? Octo Valley. Yeah, so you're <laughs> fighting... Uh, the whole premise is you're squids and you're fighting the octopus people because there's like a secret war. Weird. They're like a hundred years ago, between octopuses. Octopi. Octopi. Uh, Slice the pie! Yeah, you get like scrolls and stuff that have like lore. Why are they fighting? They're both so delicious. Right? <laughs> Jean-Luc, at any point do your little people yell, Slice the pie! Uh, no. Not and I do get upgrades. <laughs> what? what? Never mind. <laughs> no, Ed! Nothing! I was gonna say, don't reference other podcasts. Oh. No, Slice the Pie is just a... Uh, well, this is a SWAT thing. Or was that specifically what you were referencing? I am also referencing something. Else. Yeah, I know you are, but like, yeah. they didn't invent the term swamp the pie. Or slice the pie, not swat the pie. I was just thinking it's funny because they are swat octop the pie. octopi. And you can like uh, so cut them up, slice them, eat them. Like, uh, eat them with some food. The, do I just have to. How do I get back to the. I'm trying. I totally. How do I get to. How do I get back? You don't get back. I thought I knew. How are you doing? Are we stuck? Are we trapped? <laughs> We're trapped here forever. Oh no! We I mean, no. I mean, you, there's definitely couch. a way to get back, but I I'm, honestly I'm don't doing remember. okay. Someone just vibrated, and I felt it, and it was something. 
It's my vibrating dildo in my pocket. Oh, man. there you go. It's on yeah, the, it's on the touch screen. It is. I oh. forgot I have a touch screen. Yeah, there's, that there's things to on the touch screen. That could be real. Now, can you play the game on the touch on the on the screen? No. Go back down. It's sexy Squidward. Nice. Uh, no, except mm. for the mode that I'm about to show off. Okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, that was I'll like a Pac-Man ghost. Minus. Yeah, it's pretty. I'll give it a 7.8. They didn't yeah. even spell Splatoon, uh, right? Yay for Splatoon. I think the only thing I would write is I'm using I'm using a driving wheel, like a Mario Kart. I'm using touch controls. I'm using touch controls. All right, you guys, we're, this is uh, the local co-op. You guys want to grab that control over here? Actually, uh, who wants to play? I, I, I don't know you uh, Nate just play. It's not what we have Ed play because. Okay. Uh, can I play? Uh, you can play after. You, um, no, Matt. You, you lost your playing you, privileges. You lost oh. your playing privileges. You're not allowed to play things anymore. So we're gonna be playing oh. two player, and I'm gonna be using the bootleg uh, controller setup that you can learn about on the internet. Google it. Uh, what I have, what I have, is a pro controller uh, with two rubber bands of a regular Wiimote strapped behind it. Um, so do I just? So you start your thing. Now I'm gonna start my thing. What I do is I press both buttons. Uh, no. Oh, I have to turn on. One sec. Oh no. Is it dead? I don't know. Oh my god! I turned off the. <laughs> 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 I do that all the time. I apologize. Uh, so. I just write write this one off. No. <laughs> let's just let's just scrap the whole thing. <laughs> hey, hey, welcome back. So. What do you mean that's seamless? I mean, what? He's turned on. Why do you want to? Well, the Wii, the Wii Did, care, control. Careful, no, like it was on. Careful then, what you press, boy. He's right. Come on. There we go. Okay. So. But now the Wii, the Wii controller's not. I has anyone else found that Wii, this Wii, Wii or Wii U controllers See, I'm, I'm just like get, have horrific this, battery life and I'm syncing. I'm gonna make this work. Yes, they do. Okay. Every I don't use my Wii U or Wii that often, right, but I think every I got time I do, every time I do, a, on, every back, time back, back, control is dead. Down? No? No? That one? That um, one? No? 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 no. Vex Mythic class. <laughs> no, that's a, that's clearly a drill. Um, so I'm gonna rock the splat charge. I think. Do the roller. So you're gonna be seeing my. Yeah, um, I'm gonna do the roller. You're gonna be seeing me playing, and then uh, Ed is playing on that. Oh, so I have to look at my screen. Yes. Uh, fun fact. Uh, what do you want to do? Y is going to reset. Skip um, part. Y is going to reset your camera. So if you're like, oh, the motion controls aren't good for what angle I'm holding. How do you y how do you play? Um, shoot, squid. Ah, uh, oh, it didn't work. Oh well. It does work. I've got it before, but I'm not gonna. Sure. It, it, guys, it works. Oh man, I, it, this is hard to play with. Motion. So is is this just? So um, the point of this mode is oh. that. We are um, trying to get more balloons than the other person. That is wrecking. Yeah, because I don't know how to play this game without motion controls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't seen this game played before today. I just want to point that out. So we have to shoot the uh, balloons, and then also, um, if you kill somebody, so they wait, lose. So wait, Ed points. picks the melee class where you have to shoot things that are far away. Yeah. And I picked the second. Oh class. God! The, okay, I'm. So this is kind of unfair. Right, <laughs> you know. All right, John. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, you seem like a friend. Maybe. Oh, you have a secondary weapon? No. How is he supposed to get the? <laughs> oh, you can um, um if you if you just tap it, you can do like a shotgun spray with the uh, with that. I so, really don't like the motion controls. I'm sure they'd be better if I was a class that didn't you, require. You, you you also get used to them. They they are really weird at first. I just like it's one of those situations where I didn't I wasn't thinking. I'm like, why can't I see anything? Oh, I'm just gonna pop all these balloons. This is Ed's time here. Ed, where are you? I'm doing things. I'm doing your job. Ah, uh, so see when he got me, he actually took away like a bunch of my points. He even said splat. Yeah. But Wait, so what's enough. what's the point of this? Is it, oh, is it not? We're is trying it, to get more points. How do you get points? I thought we were like by balloons. Oh, I was just getting I was just getting turf. No, no, no. Oh, I was so confident because I'm like, look how much turf I'm getting. That doesn't matter. Oh well. Th thanks for explaining the rules to me. I, I tried to. Eh, I disagree. <laughs> thanks, thanks, th thanks, B. <laughs> You're a racist son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn it, Ed. <laughs> Why? 
because it's funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> so one thing I actually really like about Where are the sniper. balloons? What do you do? Is, what are uh, balloons? See, see that, um... Oh. That over there? I mean, I can't really do this. Screen. As he points to it, as Ed's looking what? at his controller. Well, that, well that's, uh, yeah, I realize how, Okay, <laughs> how, do I, how do I get it? I see it. You gotta um, shoot him. The I, I... Can you, okay, if you tap your thing, you can do a shotgun spray. Oh, oh, oh. I need to get my ink back. Am I the only one that finds the music kind of annoying? I like the music, actually. Because I can't shoot people with the... Nice one balloon, Ed. I, to be fair, I had no idea that balloons were the objective for the almost entirety of this game. <laughs> it's fine, that's what Trout runs for. The sniper rifle seems really efficient for getting to where you need to go yes, really it fast. it makes this really, like, large uh, line. It's bad for turf war. Uh, if you're oh, what the hell? Things, but it's now, good why for, do like, I have a bazooka? killing enemies being on the offensive. I imagine it'll actually be really fun Are you for... complaining that you have a bazooka, Ed? I, I don't know how to use it. That's like, your, that's your I, I flat out don't know how it's, it's done. I imagine turf war will be really good for the, um, or the sniper will be really good for the, uh, like the tower based kind of stuff, where you're just holding a single point. You are dominating, John Lee. Although I can't really say it's a fair game. Yeah, this just kind of feels unfair. Well, now that I know, I also wouldn't pick the melee class for a yeah. a game mode that's designed to get balloons that hang out okay, in the air. Okay, so uh, why don't you pick um, change change weapons? weapons? I think John Luke cheated. Yeah. So why don't you actually head? Why don't you guys show multiplayer since we're losing the first half of this episode? Why don't you actually head back? <laughs> okay. And I'm just gonna quickly try and get yeah, those working again. I'm just gonna end myself tonight. So why don't you just hit, um, you, you can just tap on it to... Battle Dojo? Uh, yeah. This is just what, how, this is just how I finish everything. There we go, we're just gonna Battle Dojo. <laughs> Still missing. God damn it. I hate this thing. Yeah, like, Wii U, Wii U controllers just... Yeah, they're, they're just they the just, worst, They right? just don't like to sync. Yeah, like, it, like, the second it goes to the mode, it's like, I'm gonna turn off. I'm like, why would you do that? Doesn't matter. Okay, uh. Hey. Okay, I think I'm just it. gonna go for the classic yeah. splatter shot. Okay, one of you like to play? Sure. Alright, yeah, I go, have fun. <laughs> uh, I absolve myself. What's this? Uh, Disruptor. I actually don't know. What does it do? Uh, what, are I, so, what do sub weapons well, look do? Look at the range, charm weapons? speed, and impact. Yeah. Uh, fire rate. You're actually with this. Uh, the sub is like your alternate, so um, you press. Um, uh, R to throw, okay. like you throw like a mine or a bomb or something like that. Oh, that's what this is? This is a mine? Oh, oh no, wait, this is a... Yeah, ink mine, blast. but it's got an ink mine. It's the, it's the what, what kind of weapon did I pick? Like, was it, what's its, what's its deal? Uh, which one did you pick? The, the, the classic yeah, the Squiffer. 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 I actually don't know what that one is. Okay, we're gonna find out. I have not really got a chance to mess with all the weapons. Um, Uh, yeah. Blub, blub, blub. You're a kid now. Does this do anything? No. Oh, no, I, oh, I, picked, I picked the sniper rifle. Oh, it's a sniper rifle? Okay. It, yeah, it's basically a sniper rifle. Oh, what am I doing? It's Ed. It's not about... It's about... So L1 turns into a squid. Uh, R2 shoots, which you obviously figured out. Um, right bumper is your alternate. Uh, X's jump. That's pretty much all you need to know. Wow, really yeah, it's it's weird without the uh, the motion control. I think the motion control is better. Like, super high. It's yeah. really it's it's really jittery. Yeah. It's it's uh it's not that great. Yeah, I don't like. I wish like. Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys want to switch? <laughs> no, I can't. Okay. <laughs> uh, so it's yeah. like I hate what the you, motion control, and that's like I don't like the not motion control. So how you doing? How you doing, Nate? Yeah, the the sniper I'm rifle would be a lot. I am so glad. The, the I'm so glad someone is. This, I'm I love this is. <laughs> I'm I'm actually I'm awesome. 
The sniper rifle is not also that great for this. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Wow. So it's not where you have to charge it. Aggressive. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's not. <laughs> the shooter, good man. It's not Get like, good, great kid. for Jesus. gaining. Jesus Christ, you earn a lot, like, in a row, but it's not. It's really bad for the map. It's really, yeah. That's I, the trade-off that you have, is that you are going to have, like, a minefield of constant, you know, other jump? enemy paint to deal with. Yeah, it's not, it's not, like, great for. Jump yeah, the, the jump is X. Oh, it's X? Yeah. Oh. And that's the Nintendo X, so, you know, the it's top. up. It's a Y or triangle. I think it's funny that we give Nintendo ah. shit where it's like, how come your things are all wrong? It's like, they actually, had they had it first. Yeah, what did I do? What did We're I just do? A, you hit you pause. Yeah. We're just a bunch of assholes. <laughs> And Nintendo, Ooh, you got it backwards. Like, ah. And you're down too. Quick, get some balloons. Or kill them. Or murder. Yeah, if you murder the other guy, you'll lose balloon points. Ed is now in the lead by two. You hiding? Oh, I see. You can, you can barely see him. Yeah. Now, you can still kill somebody if they're hidden as a, a squid, and the way to do that is to actually, like, ink the spot they're on. Why is it like so bad? If you eliminate so there's no more ink ah. for them to go, it will lock. Is there a melee? A melee? No. There's not a melee. Can't punch him to death? Nope. Ah, this controller feels like fuck. Why isn't the motion control working? Um, I'm. It, I did the code right. I think it's just because it keeps desyncing. It's a weird issue with that. Um, at least that's my guess. It's 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 weird. I don't know. I did get it working though. It does really work. I wish Can I could have got it working, working on the episode. I'd love to. <laughs> I don't know how. What? I don't know. No, it's just it's just being painful right now. I wonder if I can get it working mid-game, or if I only have to do it during the, the setup. Like the fact that, that I can like only move a certain two. axes. Ed, kill. Ugh. What do you mean? He did. Like I thought oh, I can man. only <laughs> control like. Ed, well, yeah, yeah, on the right stick you control only left and right. Yeah, like I just it feels so unnatural to me. It's it's weird. Not uh, not gonna lie. Why is the aim so poor? Okay, I think Ed's gonna run away with this game. You know Nate. It's like, it's like, it's, oh, what the fuck? You're, you're goofed up with a lot of goop. It, it moves, that's why it feels weird. When you go over a surface, it moves the reticle over. Like, I'm just, I'm just moving to the right, and then it moves down. So that's a track with the surface. Mm. It's really weird. Okay. You have 50 seconds. You can catch up. Yeah, I got it. You can catch up, bud. <laughs> that was a big fuck you. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. You got it. I believe in you. Snipe. Oh. I think I won. I think I did good, guys. You, you did a great job, buddy. All right. Everything's coming up. Oops, I accidentally rematch. I do not want this gun. I hit quit out. Help me out here. How do I... Uh... Okay. Theory. Motion control. Okay, I'm just gonna pick. Is there a way to turn the motion controls off from? That's no. Oh no. yes, there is. If controls. I, if I hit uh, start for you, no, you just go to motion control. Sweet. Off. There you go. So hopefully it worked. I have no idea, dude. If it doesn't work, tough. Tough. Yeah. I'm gonna go with this guy. I don't know what this is. I will say it's That's also, the sniper rifle that I had, by the way. It which is, was really good for range, but it shoots a very straight line and you don't get a lot of mass coverage. And I definitely think I had a bad first time with motion controls because I think it's weirder doing it where you also have the screen. So you're moving yeah, it it's, and it's the screen. It's just, it makes more sense when you're looking at a TV and you're just doing this. By the way, guys, there are only the five maps. And that is a big flaw of the game is I think there needs to be way more maps. Um, Did you turn the sensor bar up to the top? Is that oh! Out? Is the sensor bar plugged in? Did no one plug in the sensor bar? It no, the sensor like bar is plugged in. in. Oh, this is inverted. No, it's not. It just feels really No, because the sensor bar is fine because that works fine. 
I take because that takes a sense of bar. I might actually prefer the motion controls. This, Told you. The, the the joystick feels weirder than you would expect. It like moves when you go over a surface. Right? It adjusts itself and it's like why would It's you not move? it doesn't move like a tradi traditional FPS yeah. or third person shooter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you don't like the motion controls at first, and then the second you switch to the regular controls, you're like, you're like oh, oh wait, I actually get the motion controls now. It makes you appreciate it. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, but I like them. I think I'm they're sure, fine. You get used to them. Can you play with like a traditional Wii, like a Wii controller? Uh, you can play with, um... No, I, I, only in this mode. I think no matter what, you have to use that. Oh. Uh... When you're playing regular. I don't know if I want to buy this game. Why not? Because I, I like the really control? hate the, like, I, I can't did. stress enough how much I don't like either the motion controls. I guess that's fair. Um, or... I would give it a couple more shots. Like, I'd have you play the regular mode where you're not looking at the, where you're just looking at the TV. Yeah, but Because like, I think it, it is not that bad. Um, Peach is I guess. Like, on, I, re Nate. I really wish it moved the camera, like, or Come traditional. On, Nate. I'm looking at like it didn't like yeah like it didn't move around. It just it, the reticle itself it moves. Yeah, it literally moves itself. Like and it's just it's wall. super. It, it's almost it's not sensitive enough, but too sensitive at the same time. Yeah, because like when you're moving it, it's like moving at a slow speed. But then when you go over a close surface, it's like whoa! It like adjusts itself really quick. Oh. And I feel like it would just make more sense for it to just stay in the middle, like where you're fucking. Anything. Yeah, I just Nintendo has always done that with their stuff where this thing has no range at all. Yeah, I picked like the gun with the best range, other than the sniper rifle. It's, yeah, like, yeah, it, that's good. That's more it's, of a spray it's low damage, gun. but that doesn't really matter in this mode. Nope. Get him. Surprise, motherfucker. Fries, Some fries, motherfucker. Some fries, motherfucker. Who dies, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> whoever, whoever did that vine, you're a funny man, and I enjoy you. Uh, oh funny. yeah, that guy's really funny. Hey, did you watch? Uh, did you ever see Dexter? Yeah, I watched Dexter. I watched. Oh, really? I watched uh, until the show became garbage. Yeah, that's. I watched that's all the way through. Me Which too. Was garbage. My. Hey, stay fresh. <laughs> stay fresh, everyone. I also watched until the end. I guess I guess lumberjack. Ah no! My my definition of when the show became garbage. I hated it in season two. Here's when I think the show became garbage, and that's when I could create better lies for Dexter than Dexter. <laughs> like there's a scene where his girlfriend slash fiance, her, her ex husband comes back. Yeah, and he's like he's an asshole and he's abusive, and Dexter injects him with heroin and frames him for drug abuse, and he goes back to jail. Right. And she's like. How do you know how to do hair? I think I've talked about this on yeah. the show before. I'm gonna say it again. And she's like, how did you know how to do heroin? And Dexter, this genius ma criminal mastermind, instead of saying, oh, I work for the police department in their, the, literally their blood, their blood testing unit. I, I do heroin, me, Dexter, I'm a, a heroin addict. That's the best lie I could come up with for the possibility of me understanding how to heroin works. Yeah. And, and then it starts the whole subplot with that really annoying arson girl, and... Oh yeah, she's crazy. Yeah. Literally, that's like the whole point of that. She is like a crazy person. And she tries to like control his life. And like the entire like season is about him going through rehab for a drug addiction that he doesn't even have. Yeah, that's true, that does happen. And it was just really weird. What was her name? I forget what her name I can't was. remember. She kind of, was she British? I think she kind she of reminded me of Amy Winehouse a bit. She was British. Just because she's she was British, she had black hair, and she was a drug addict. She, she was a, wow. She's it. That's, what, what? Rest Too in, soon. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse was a, was a innocent, perfect person who did nothing wrong. I'm not saying better, that. Better? Man, I am sucking this round. Nah. You're doing great. <laughs> Keep at it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's about going to do it. Um, I'm going to head back to the studio. Why don't you guys just look at some of those games, man. This, this was bad.
Oh, that's not even fair. What? I'm great at life. N not this episode. <laughs> <laughs> you, what do you mean this episode no, I don't wanna... doesn't exist? <laughs> We're posting this everywhere. Ugh. I'm gonna tell people on Facebook if you never. I know I I talk about my. I show know you a lot, guys think this is funny, but it can literally ruin my professional career, which is just starting. So like maybe no, <laughs> like <laughs> it it won't though. But like it ah! actually won't because it was an accident. Batman and plays. Patrol. They will see that you were like this. <laughs> I'm gonna timestamp it. Whoa, what is that? That's just a, that's a really cool picture. Of it's a an overhead of a roller. Oh, that's cool. whoa! That's awesome. I'm gonna go back that was because cool. I was go really... back to that. Yeah. That's really well that's done. That's really neat. You should give that guy a yeah. Can can you? Yes, <laughs> yes. If you press A and then you press Y. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you, bud. Ed, why don't you go? Uh, why don't we end this by posting? What does that wait? What does that say? Hashtag what? Um, Tentacle attack. Oh. It's no, that's nope. single player. It's here. It's right, right here, by the yeah. mailbox. Okay. Ugh. Oh god, I'm like Post the, to I'm literally the worst artist in this room. So we're not gonna be able to see it until Ed. Should I do it? it? Um, hey, what, what do we want? To, do we want? Okay, we're doing Ed, a drawing. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Surprise me. What should we talk about in the meantime while it's busy? What? What is Ed doing? Oh, he's, he's making he's a making post. He's making Meverse post. Yeah. Ah, why is this taking so long? He just started. Sorry, that's what that's the only thing I could think of when he's he was drawing it. Oh! I was like, is it loading? No, no, no. He, he, we can't see it. Oh. Is it just like a dick? Remember, Ed. If it's what? not, you have to be funny. Don't you take it. <laughs> this, this, is, this is you. This is you. So XCOM 2 is a thing. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about <laughs> XCOM 2. I love this. XCOM. XCOM is great. <laughs> is that, the, that was what I would, that's what I'm I was I'm just doing. writing a certain word. <laughs> Don't, baby. <laughs> It's it's stew, as in the food. It's a certain <laughs> word, and it's delicious food. I agree. I like stew. Um, XCOM, for those of you who don't know, is a turn-based tactical t squad-based RPG uh, where you fight aliens who are invading. You're like this tactical elite squad who go in, and it's turn-based, so you take turns moving your dudes, and you take turns attacking the enemy. And it's really, really, really good. It's um, an old, it's a base, it's XCOM Enemy Unknown, is kind of a reboot of a older series, like an older classic Golden Age of PC series, and that I'm not Cameron Two, I'm Cameron One, and the Exome Enemy Unknown came out, and it was really well done. Most people weren't expecting this kind of a reboot of a classic PC game to be nearly as good as it was, and uh, now they're making a sequel out of nowhere. It was just announced today. It's coming out in November. Um, I'm super psyched. Anyone else play John Luke? You play XCOM? You played XCOM. I love XCOM. Everyone loves XCOM. I've never met a person who wasn't. I haven't played it. You should play XCOM. You'd... Nah. Nate, it's do you, really good. Do you like uh, Civ, those kind of tactical games? Or... Nope. Oh, nope. probably not. Well, whatever. Um, I'm a fan of games where, uh, per with permadeath. Yeah, it's, it's really... I mean, from what I understand, the older games were more hardcore. Oh, oh, definitely. They were more, way more challenging. Uh, you should, I, um, although Iron Man mode, uh, I think it's Iron Man mode, right? Yeah. It's pretty I, good. I uh, played, uh, <laughs> I played Mech Warrior tabletop with a guy who, um, Damn. Yeah. That's, let me tell you about Mech Warrior. That is a six to eight hour commitment to do like five turns and there's a, it's not fun. <laughs> It's fun, it just takes forever. That's done the point. And he showed us Excel spreadsheets he had <laughs> from the old XCOM games that like ran down the status of his team and their deaths and their progression. Because the game is so intense that if you're like a hot, like if you really love XCOM, you put in the extra work to like keep track of your characters outside of the game. Uh, you don't need to do that in Enemy Unknown because that's ridiculous. Uh, how's that Miiverse post going, Nate? Almost done. Ooh. Oh, wow. You are... Okay. Is it a dank meme? It is the dankest of memes. Ugh. One could say it's going to be the dankest meme of all time. They'll, they'll look back on this day in the history books. Actually, of the, memes. The, in the, the meme The first. history and, and dank meme 101. And the history holograms. Holy holo shit! Why is, is that a college course called Marcus? They're, they're also be. gonna look back <laughs> at the history books for the racist 101 class. Yes, and they're gonna like they're just gonna hit. They're just gonna be like it's gonna be a 
the, the, the room is filled with people, like, packed of students, like, bright-eyed, new, young, fresh students, and they're desperate to learn about the history of dank memes, and the professor's going to come in, he's going to enter the room silently, he's going to stand up before the class, he's going to hit a single button, and before them is going to be a single hologram of a single dankest meme that created a golden age of dank memes. And then the students will, they will cry, they will cheer, it, they will write sonnets of this day. Sonnets. Sonnets. Sonics? Sonics. Oh, six. Yes. <laughs> Can I just say you guys are doing a fantastic job filling for time. I, I know. <laughs> Is there other news? Uh... And, that, and the students will disperse and they'll go home and they'll, and they'll write of love and freedom and peace in their perfect utopian society that we created with this dankest meme. Uh, the, the, there is no other news, really, is there? No. Uh, the Statue of Liberty will be replaced by a giant hologram of this meme. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, gonna, like it's gonna be projecting. What's a squid look like? <laughs> okay. You need to look at the box art. <laughs> well, what, well, Nate, why don't we just get right into the uh, uh, the, the, the goodbyes? The goodbyes while Nate's doing Twitch, a little, Twitch we'll and Twitter. At the end. Twitch and Twitter, home button cast. Yep. Cool. Facebook and YouTube, home button official. If you like our stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Someone, for the love of God, like, comment, subscribe. Please. Please. Don't beg for it. I want to beg. But give us, give us a, just, just right there. It's like right. It's, it's, no, wait, I'm, I'm looking at, okay. It's, for you, it's going to be like below Matt, below Matt's knee is what you're going to want to be, where you're going to be situated at. I think that's correct. That's about correct. Just right there. Just one second of your time. Not even a second. Um, yeah. Watch our Twitch streams that we do sometimes. Uh, follow us at Twitter. Uh, Ed underscore yeah, Schlack for still some reason. Still oh, um, anyone that's else want to? Um, and do we want to pimp anything else? Uh, we just launched our, our podcast. Yes, it's on it's uh, on iTunes. It's on it's up for review on iTunes. It should it should be up within by, the, day by the or two. So by, by the time you're watching this, it should yes, be up. it is the Visual Novel Book Club. Uh, we did a visual novel called what was it Go Go Nippon? Go Go Nippon. My it, first trip to Japan. It was an experience into the dark underbelly. If I can of, quickly read the. Uh... The description? The description on... I'm done with the Meverse post. Perfect. Well, well, can, we'll save that for the end. Let me quickly read the description. In this premiere episode, we take a road trip, trip, to, road trip to Japan with Gogo Go Nippon, my first trip to Japan. John Luke learns about the Tokyo's train system. Matt wishes he was playing something else. And Ed hates Akira. I hate Akira. <laughs> Akira is the worst. That's like a pretty perfect little... So can we look at it, Nate? How, how do we look at it? I don't know. I, no. Are we not able to? We're not able I to look at our not. own post? You will never know oh God. what we posted. If you want to find us. This no. is it's probably just going to be another one. Oh, yeah, it's shit. just, just going to. Oh, well. Oh, so, man. sorry. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Are we, are we. You on. will have to wait until. Wait. <laughs> hold on. Some stuff's happening. Uh, yeah, so uh, you should check that out. Uh, we'd really love it if you would uh, get on iTunes. I'm excited. I think it's a. I think it's a good show. I think it's. Gonna I think be a it's good a time. good concept. Um, we need to tighten it up. We need to tighten it up, but you know, I'm really hoping we can find an audience for it. Uh, I think that'd be cool. Um, it's what I. I never want to like pimp my stuff too much. Where I'm like, I think my thing's pretty awesome, and you should check it out. But I'm like, I'm genuinely really excited about this concept. Yeah, I uh, think if you if you like us for some reason, then. Whatever. Yeah. We, we got, need, need something to do for a new episode of Serial to come out. I don't know where that's at, but until then, you have nothing else going on. Yeah. So. Um, that's true. Whatever, whatever happened to Aunt Adnan? Adnan? Is he? Uh, I think he hashtag, is. Hashtag Jay did it. Hashtag it was, it was Jay. Can we just say it was Jay? Jay definitely did it. Jay um, definitely did it. How do I? You'll never. You will have to wait until the morning where they they blow the the horn of dank memes, and everyone will flock to their windows yeah, to find, hear the yeah, news. Yeah, just go find it yourself. Get Splatoon. Get Splatoon. Happen to enter a uh, instance of the game in which John Luke's 
character is in your world and find him and look at his uh, <laughs> activities, Miiverse. maybe. We, Miiverse? Activities? Oh, dude, you're you're a gaming level expert. Oh, I am. I mean, technically, we I, I just made you a gaming level expert. Nice. You're welcome. I mean, oh, there it is. It's on the top. Is it? Yeah. Yay! Hey. hey, there you go. It took you that long to write that? Neatly. Holy shit! Look at the one below. You got outclassed. Yeah, fuck them. Dude, look at that. No. That's amazing. Go, no. go look at that. No, no, it's so good. Why do we even bother? That's really wow. That's really How? good. I can't. But that lady has have boobs. Hello. <laughs> what game is that? I think these are things that you yed. That that has to be a John Luke. <laughs> what? Did you did, did you yed this? No. No. I've no, never seen that in my life. User with similar oh. interests. Mm. Like boobs. Boobs. That so yeah. Thing, yeah. Check wow, out. that thing's really good. Yeah, that thing's really Not good. I don't think unless you've used a Wii U controller, you can understand how difficult. Oh, uh, if, you, so if you've signed your name at like the grocery store on like their stupid touchpad. Yeah. Imagine yeah. doing that image on that touchpad. Yeah, imagine. We should probably do a full episode where we just look at Miiverse. I spelt official holy wrong. Holy shit. You oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And with that, oh, oh, that spelled oh, oh, fail. Oh, fail. Oh, fail. Because, all right, and that's going to be the episode. Thanks, guys. Uh, this is just the Bye, worst. everybody. I quit. Is this it? Am I done? You're done. Thanks. Jazz hands. <laughs>